hello guys so welcome back to my channel and uh, in the last video of this azure beginners to professional series you have seen that uh, we have tested uh, our uh, point to site uh, connection and uh, from there we have done the uh, one application which is hosted on the cloud we have tested that uh, through vpn so that was uh, based on a certificate based authentication method and now today in this video i am just going to show you how we can configure an azure active directory integrated authentication and it's not limited to azure if you have an on-premises active directory that is integrated with microsoft azure you can use that uh, those users or your on-premises active directory users uh, also for authentication purpose in uh, vpn so let's start with that and if you have not seen that video you can just uh, check my description box of this video and you will get my previous video link apart from that the entire playlist of azure beginners to professional series is also there so you can take it from that links and search it so let's begin with this and we are going to start a virtual private uh, virtual network gateway so not the power, virtual network gateway and let's begin with this so here you have to choose uh, at least suk level 1 that is the vpn gateway gw1 and the last one we have taken a basic one but here we must have to use vpn gw1 and i can put it a name here that is my vpn ad AZ AD, I'm just taking a name is you can take a name anything what you want you have to just select the same as your sponsorship VPN root and virtual private network I'm just going to create a new virtual private network and doing to create it VPN A Z is it AZ AD and uh, taking a new resource group also I'm just going to keep it everything separate az vnet uh, i think i have not clicked ok resource group for this and vnet virtual network also i can take it as a default one which is the range is there for virtual network it would be up to you if you want to change you can change it so taking a new virtual subnet and the gateway information and then public ip i have to use it a new one so taking it as public ip active mode should be enabled and configure bgp keep it as disabled so just click on review and create to get it done validation is passed so i'm not it will take a couple of minutes in the deployment so once get it it's done then we will move proceed uh, to deploy the same in the meantime it's and it's getting deployed uh, we have to set up a couple of things with azure active directory so we just go ahead and setting up that okay let me just log in on my azure ad this is my default directory and we have some users and the groups Okay. You can see the two user accounts are there. And uh, let me just quickly show you. Okay, in the enterprise application sections, I don't have any application here. So we have to add Azure VPN as an trusted app and the application that must have an admin consent. So we have to admin add that admin consent here to add it uh, there would be a url that is in a standard url which is for everyone it's always same so i i will share that url also in uh, my description box so you can take it from there so once you click on enter it will ask to sign up from my account so let me just uh, quickly sign up with the user account i think i have uh, three users but let me just recheck it I read the groups. Okay. 
so this one is the account which I already have here let me quickly see okay signing is blocked so let me just quickly reopen it okay so let me just log in from this account it must be in global admin so You must have an admin account from which you can log in it and once you okay so once you log in from the account you will it will ask to give the permission you have to just accept it it will give you admin consent or admin permissions once you move it here okay and it's asking me to continue with the zero I can continue it from any account wherever you want. Let me just quickly go in my directory and see the admin things are added here. Okay, now we can see the Microsoft Azure VPN added here. And this is the application ID that we have to take it. But this ID is always common for everyone. So you can just keep it with you. We require this in the audience section later on. So I have just copied it from here. One more thing, I need it from this directory that is uh, tenant ID. So I have to go in the properties in the directory and I need to copy this tenant ID. It is confidential because uh, you have to keep it secret. But once never, I will upload this video till it, this account would get removed. So I am not worried about that. I'm exposing it okay the tenant ID and I will show you why I am pasting it here these two locations uh, let me just leave it okay so these are the things what you have to do it right away here when you are configuring the directory service so these this one ID tenant ID you have to take it from here and you have to uh, configure your app consent these two things you have to do with your Azure Active Directory. Let me quickly go back and see. Okay, now our deployment is completed. So I am just going to resource here. Okay. In the resource, point to site configuration. Click on this. Okay, then configure now. When I clicked on the configure now, it will again ask me to enter the address pool. Let me quickly enter it. Now I'm entering it 20. Series. Okay. Uh, here you can see we have taken a SUK uh, series 1. So that's why we have option SSTP, IK, any type of, type of VPN you want to use. I'm taking it as open VPN right now. Instead of Azure certificate or radius authentication, I'm taking it as Azure Active Directory. So now here you have to enter all those URLs. The first one, uh, I will paste these all URLs standards over there. So you guys can update the information and uh, uh, paste it in your uh, uh, directory service. So let me just quickly, you can have to paste it like this. You have to add the tenant ID, replace the tenant ID and initial part would be this. Audience is always a same structure that we have copied from enterprise app. This one and the issuer. Issuer is must be in this structure. So here also you have to add your tenant ID in these two boxes. Like this. So these three things you have to always remember and make sure you are using this. Okay. So now this is what we have done and just save it. You will also get the grant admin uh, consent for pin client that we have already done. If you have not done that, you can add it from here. 
so uh, guys it's taking a few minutes to save the configuration and i will be get back and continue in the next video uh, you can uh, take the link from the description box for my next video and keep watching and subscribe this channel thank you